What would you do if you could get the world's best entrepreneurs in a room and ask them anything? Well, welcome to Paper Napkin Wisdom, where we do just that. With the help of their stories, we help entrepreneurs like you change the world. Here's your host, Gobind Jayaraman. Hi, my name is Gobind Jayaraman, and this is Take Action, a paper napkin wisdom based podcast. And Paper Napkin Wisdom is, of course, the book where you could build your five-step plan for life and business success. And what this podcast is a short three to five minute podcast where you will be able to take the lessons from the book and make them come to life. And as we go from mindset, the superpower, your secret weapon to the path, one of the things I want you to think about is perspective. Perspective is something we talk about in the book a great deal, but most importantly, from this perspective, I'd like to talk about the perspective of elephant leadership. And this came up in a conversation I had this week with a group of entrepreneurs, and then we talked about it in terms of execution. And in execution, when we have the guiding North Star, we know what our strategic North Star, and you can call that your big, hairy, audacious goal. You can talk about it as you being your vision, your cause, your purpose, your belief, your why. If that's where you want to go, if that's the perspective that you want to go at, think about elephant leadership. Now, elephants are known for their size and their strength. Of course, they're great memories and intelligence. But Elephant leaders actually operate from the back of the herd, and this is something we don't always understand. Now, think about that as a leader. From the back of the herd, we gain a little bit extra perspective, a little bit extra time. And there are seven key traits of elephant leadership that I want you to think about from the back of the herd again. So one of those traits is problem solving. So if you know where you're going, if you know the perspective, the North Star, the strategic point that you're going, and you're in the back of the herd, you're able to have more time in front of you to make strategic problem solving part of your decision making network or matrix. Now think about it also as being a piece of social intelligence. It takes social intelligence and discipline to sit in the back of the herd. And it's an awareness. Social intelligence is nothing other than awareness of what people are doing around you. By being aware of what is happening around us, it allows us to sit behind the herd, behind our team and be supportive of them in front of us. And it also creates openness because as we are sitting in the back of the herd, we rely upon our social intelligence, our communication with our team to create the dialogue around what's happening in front of us. But also our team relies on us to be decisive from the back of the herd because as we are sitting from that perspective in the back of the herd, it's important to take that perspective, that time and use it to be decisive. Of course, that decisiveness requires patience. It requires us to observe, to communicate, to problem solve, but that patience comes from confidence. So think about the confidence that you need to have and show. It takes confidence to have confidence. You need to build your mindset, your secret weapon, before you can inspire confidence and have confidence in others. So build confidence to have confidence, and that's elephant leadership from the back of the herd. And finally, compassion. Once we know, and once we are literally stepping in the footsteps of our team from the back of the herd, it is impossible not to be compassionate because compassion comes from understanding. Compassion comes from perspective. Compassion comes from communication. Think about these seven traits, problem solving, social intelligence, openness, decisiveness, patience, confidence and compassion as being perspectives from the back of the herd, perspectives from elephant leadership. Try that out this week. Try to lead from the back. Try to guide your team with subtle but decisive nudges back in the right direction through problem solving and question asking and great social intelligence and communication. See how that works out. And why don't you let me know how it works out? Tweet me back at Wise Napkin or follow along at papernapkinwisdom.com or search the Take Action podcast on Paper Napkin Wisdom on iTunes or on Play. My name is Govan J. Raman. This is Take Action from Paper Napkin Wisdom. Make it a great week.